Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another amazing episode of the Power Women in Insurance podcast. Today, we are talking with Joy Segal with Pattern Insurance, and we are talking about the new wave of insurance. We're talking about the future. We're talking about the past, and we're talking about how we as insurance agents and as professionals in the insurance industry can make sure that we are being a better option for our clients. So, Joyce, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Well, I am thrilled to be able to talk to you today. And oh, for all the listeners out there, I forgot to be able to say my name is Teresa Kitchens, your host. You probably already know that. But talking to Joyce today, I want to get to know you a little bit. You are with Pattern Insurance doing some cool, cool, cool things inside the insurance industry. So tell us how you got to where you are in the insurance industry and kind of what you bring to Pattern Insurance on kind of the insurance side of the background that you have. Great. Well, thank you for um, inviting me and I'm excited to be here. Um, my background, like many other people, was not a direct road into insurance. Um, I actually went to college to be a, an electrical engineer and worked um, uh, in that field for a, for a number of years. Um, and and then I, I made a career switch for personal and other reasons. And um, it, it actually started as a joke with my family saying, gee, why don't you become an actuary like Cousin Bob? So Cousin Bob was a physicist that became a pension actuary. And so I took some exams and there I was um, uh, working for a consulting firm and a, a few other kinds of companies. Um, I was really lucky to have an opportunity working for what was a reinsurance pool manager and um, doing actuarial as a student actuary. Um, I was doing work that allowed me to work directly with our sales force. And um, I learned a lot about what their needs were. And so I was developing new tools for them um, to be able to offer more effectively offer the products that we were developing. Um, and as part of that, I worked with um, some other competitors and partners. And before I knew it, I had an opportunity to run an underwriting department in an insurance company. And I took that with the idea that I was going to keep running down my actuarial path, but somehow um, running a team and a $40 million business somehow didn't allow for that. You might've been a little bit busy. <laughs> yeah, kept me a little busy, right? A um, little bit. Yeah, it was exciting, but it was it was good background PNC exams. I think uh, with all the changes, it amounted to almost six exams and a really good, solid understanding that um, helped me understand rating methodologies, helped me be able to talk with actuaries as I develop products and and completely respect the work done um, by all the folks on the team. So um, my roles um, in underwriting, profit center management, and mostly end-to-end -end product development okay. um, has kind of been my path. So um, anything from creating a completely new insurance product um, from the idea stage all the way through market, regulatory, pricing, rating, you name it, um, and tweaking in place to taking something that exists and figuring out how to utilize it in a compliant um, manner in a, in a new segment. Well, I love it. I love it. And that brought you to pattern insurance. So tell us a little bit about pattern insurance specifically, and what are y'all doing in the insurance space that makes y'all a little bit more unique? So, um, almost two years ago, I was introduced to pattern. Uh, they're a tech firm, uh, what we call an embedded insurance provider. So basically, um, a, an insurance technical company that provides embedded offers. Uh, we're an MGA um, with really great tools, which allows us to work with mostly um, consumer partners that are, are offering some type of consumer journey. So if you think about uh, meeting people where they're booking something, whether they're booking a vacation, a ticket, um, registering their child for a sport, um, this is an opportunity to offer them travel insurance or accident insurance or some kind of refund protection, things that matter to people at these moments in their life. And it lets us do it um, in very high volume, real real time method. So yeah, 
So my role in Pattern is I'm the Global Head of Insurance Innovation and Strategy, and I get to work with our partners, with our carriers, um, and um, our amazing tech team to be able to, to craft solutions that make sense. I love that. I love that. So how long, you said Pattern Insurance, how long has Pattern been around? I know they kind of came to your attention a couple of years ago, but how long has Pattern Insurance itself been on this journey to be able to connect directly with consumers and offer them these these uh, these products? So Pattern Insurance is about five years old. It's uh, three to four years old in the U.S. So we operate in the U.S., the U.K., the EU, and parts of the Middle East. Awesome. Well, yeah. I love that. I love that. So how are y'all using technology, right, to be able to connect? Because I think that's really what the what the crux here is. You said whenever people are really, you know, connecting with the purchasing process, like you said, sports, with you know, somebody's registering maybe for an event or something, that's where y'all kind of come on in and be able to offer insurance specifically around some of the needs around that area. Tell me a little bit about what y'all, how y'all approach the client within that conversation and what does it look like for y'all to be able to track what you said was the client experience, right? Making it really, really good and yet marrying that conversation with underwriting because I know that underwriting and the customer experience are not always symbiotic, right? But yet you have that opportunity to kind of marry the two ideas and bring them together. So tell me a little bit about what that looks like for you and how y'all have been able to do that at Pattern Insurance. So that's that's a great question. So we'll spend time really understanding what the consumer journey is. So for instance, we had an opportunity to work with a sports registration platform. And what they were doing was providing a tool for schools uh, to allow parents to sign their kids up for sports activities. They had over a million students a year that registered. Wow. Right. So the question is, what do parents need? How can we offer it? What makes sense? Um, so we understood the, the gap in um, medical insurance that many people have with high deductibles and co-pays. We were able to create a simplified offer for up to $5,000 of um, accident insurance for kids participating in sports. And we were also able to offer um, what we call registration cancellation. Something happens, a child is sick or injured or um, another type of covered event happens that a, a child just cannot finish off a season, right? And parents have made a big investment. So, right. um, so understanding um, what's happening when, um, what could be useful to them, and also being respectful of the fact that the parents' main goal is to register their child, right? So um, they they aren't coming to that process looking for insurance, but they may be interested in the insurance, and it has to be simple enough to understand within that yeah. within that journey. So we were able to work with um, two insurance carrier partners that um, had products that could be dovetailed to this and craft a way for us for pattern to basically put a widget into this customer journey um, where that customer journey makes a call and um, says, this is happening. This is who's here. Um, and is there a relevant um, product available, right? We've pre-underwritten it. We know enough about the sport or the state um, to present a uh, compliant offer. And if the parent you know, is willing to accept that, we're able to be part of the billing, collection, and fulfillment. So they'll get a policy and all of their relevant information in probably less than 30 seconds after they purchase. Wow. Very simple. You can do it on your phone for busy moms and dads. Um, and the first account we wrote like that, um, in that manner, um, we wrote over 25,000 policies in three months. Wow. That's so wonderful. the power of the tech, right? Yep. So power of understanding the journey, um, finding um, the right products and solutions, um, meeting people, you know, where they're transacting, mm -hmm. um, and then bringing the right tech to make that happen. Yeah, absolutely. Exciting.
So if you work with, like you mentioned, some of that, that, that gap in the conversation of like youth sports and things like that, what other markets are y'all really focusing on so that you can um, offer these types of types of uh, opportunities for parents or like you mentioned, like with the consumers that y'all are meeting where they are for the insurance that they need. So it could be travel. Okay. So, and for travel, we can either be in an OTA and online travel agent type of environment where you're booking a hotel room, a flight, a vacation package where there's a relevant travel insurance offer. We could also be providing, um, we, we have one uh, client where we've provided a direct to consumer tool for consumers to be able to um, look for an insurance for their travel needs, but also um, to support agents, whether they're travel agents or insurance agents that might have clients that would be interested in travel insurance, right? Um, and so we can give them a white labeled solution that they can work with okay. their client and then they have the tools to email the quotes and um, or to send a direct offer that looks like a white labeled link. So that's kind of a fun thing we're doing there too. So the tools translate to agent tools or consumer tools. I love it. I love it. So as y'all have done this, I'm sure this has not been an easy process, right? I think, you know, going online, you're you're marrying, like we mentioned before, so many different pro pro products, so many different underwriting concepts, so many different, uh, the client journey, the, the conversation of the client journey, the conversation of the insurance journey. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of technology in there too that has to be customized. What are some of the challenges that y'all have really seen that you maybe surprised you the most as far as like the company, right? Like, cause I think we all get into um, a project. We all get into a business. We all get into these things. And all of a sudden we're like, oh, um, let's think about that a little bit more because that just may take a little bit more finagling than we originally expected. What type of challenges have y'all had as a company that y'all have been able to overcome and being able to bring this product out to the direct customer? So I think it really varies by product. I mean, there's always a surprise. Yeah. Um, sometimes um, the hurdles to get over are taking a product that's currently underwritten and figuring out a solution with the carrier, boxing in the risk, right? Right. Which elements of the risk would you write every single day, right? If you didn't have to underwrite it. So let's offer to those consumers. And we do that for people booking events. Uh, venues for events online um, and that that was like pretty exciting because that was a first of its kind um, but then it could be that it could be anything from consumer or privacy issues or different you know for different streams you know and making sure that you're compliant with that it could be changes in rules and rates it could um, it it could be um, people getting comfortable with um with having an offer and how the the payment processing works and all of that the nice thing is that all of our products have free looks and allow people to easily cancel so that that part's great yeah um yeah so how is the and and i know what you're the products you're talking about may not be under this umbrella so that's why i'm asking but has the harder market and the change in other writing guidelines and the focus that we've seen in other product lines in the insurance industry for a stronger underwriting conversation, um, has that changed the way y'all are doing business over the course of the last few years that we've seen this hard market? Or does that really not touch some of that uh, more the medical, the travel, those types of things. Because I think, you know, what we see on our end is more of commercial property, uh, you know, uh, pro right. personal lines, right? So I don't know, do y'all have those same challenges for underwriting that we've been able to see and the changes that we've seen on our end in the area that I normally run in? And have y'all seen that in that, that additional area that y'all are in? So I think what we've really seen since COVID is people's desire to have flexibility and change mm. and cancellation. And on the other side, um, insurance carriers concern for loss ratios resulting from yeah. increased claims. Um, the best part about the pattern platform is we're housing the rules and rates, um, the availability. So if the rates are changing, if the rules are changing, if we can't offer something we call CFAR, cancel for any reason, 
because there isn't an underwriting appetite, we can instantaneously change that. Nice. Right. And so that's attractive to um, our carrier partners because they know that a change can get implemented. Maybe we don't want to provide a, a trip delay product um, it, to an airport where we know um, strikes are occurring soon. By, right. Um, so things of that nature. But that's that's the great part of the technology is we can react to the changes. We can provide those updates. We can also give real-time um, information to our carriers about um, what we're seeing, who's buying, where they're buying, and we can work off of the feedback from them on claims. So if they're seeing trends in states or age groups or, you know, where allowed, we can manage um, offers, right? We can, that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So, it, so it allows you to pivot pretty quickly, no matter what's going on inside the industry. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah. What are some of your favorite aspects of, of being a part of pattern insurance? Because I think sometimes we talk about the challenges, we talk about all these things, we make everything so kind of heady sometimes, but what do you really love about being a part of the pattern insurance family? So we have a great team of people that come from a variety of disciplines. We have people that have come from the accommodation industry and the ancillary industry and other types of tech, um, banking, finance, um, but we all come together and everyone's very solutions driven. Um, great humility, right? So everyone's willing to be wrong and learn from being wrong, which is great. Intellectually yeah. curious, um, it's a great team and it's fun. And I think what happens when you think you're in the solution business is that the solution you thought was the solution was may not have been the problem anyone was that concerned with. So right. you have to really be willing to change your idea of, of what the goal was going to be pretty quickly and to move on a dime. So uh, we had an opportunity in December where one of uh, some folks I used to work with in a prior company came to us for a solution that wasn't our standard product. It was part of our tool set that we built for our customers. And we were able to deliver a solution for them in under 30 days. Nice. Um, yeah. And and so everyone came together, you know, with um, several partners to, to bring um, a technical solution um, that was pretty game changing. And that meant everyone sort of had to sit back and learn a lot and figure out how we were going to do this. And it was, it was a great experience. I love it. I love it. So as y'all are working together, as the insurance industry is changing with all of the underwriting conversations, all of the um, online conversations, I think technology has totally changed the conversation of insurance and especially where you are on your end of the conversation. What does the future look like for pattern insurance? Um, you know, we've talked about kind of where you guys have been, the underwriting, the challenges, the joys, but where are y'all like, projecting to be able to go? What is the, the big dream for Pattern Insurance to be able to make sure that y'all um, as a company uh, are, are really focused on? So we've done great work in the B2, B2B2C space and the D2C space. But where we're really seeing huge growth is what we're calling the three to B2C space, where we get right. within a platform that's got tens of thousands of distributors using that platform, whether it's a, a hotel booking platform or um, a registration platform of some sort. And so now the tentacles of what we're doing are attached to millions and millions of transactions a day sometimes. Wow. Um, that's the future state. But the interesting thing of being on the tech side is understanding um, when the tech makes sense and when it doesn't. So the future for us also is kind of what we call this fidgetal um, experience, which is balancing the, the technical tools with the human tools and some of the other tools. So understanding when, um, when an agent should be involved and bringing them in. So they the, the tools um, kind of blend into what they're doing and, and bring out 
um, and highlight their needs when they're needed. And that that's a big part of where we're going to see technology really work well with the skills of, of people, because um, everything can't be solved by machines. Right. Um, and often people do want to speak to a person or they have deeper questions. So um, that's where our future is going to be. I love it. I love it. Well, we're excited to be able to see where y'all are going. If people want to reach on out to Pattern Insurance and to you, maybe even, maybe pick your brain about something, learn more about Pattern Insurance, how can they do that? Well, they can go to patterninsurance.com um, or they can find me on LinkedIn. It's Joyce Segal, S E G A L L, um, or Joyce.Segal at patterninsurance.com. I love it. Well, Joyce, thank you so much for joining us today, for, for talking to us about pattern insurance, as well as kind of where y'all are going and what y'all are doing inside that space. I think it's very exciting. So thank you so thank much for you. joining us. Pleasure. All right, everybody. Well, this Have has been day. another amazing episode of the Power Women in Insurance <laughs> podcast, where we highlight women in every single aspect of the insurance space. We talk to people that are underwriters. We talk to people that are in sales. We talk to people that are in ownership. We talk to people who work for corporate. We work for people. We talk to people who are self-employed within this space. Because wherever you are as a woman and as an individual in this insurance space, you have a place because it's an amazing industry and it's an industry that is the backbone of our economy. I say it all the time. And you know what? I thank you very, very much for being a listener to the podcast today, as well as for being on this journey to be able to help support women finding their home inside the insurance space. Everybody, this has been another amazing episode of the Power Women in Insurance podcast. Join us next week, Wednesday for another episode. My name is Teresa Kitchens. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.